lots of white, but I know there's lots of color coming. Yeah, it is a lot of white. It's a lot of white. Looks like you made another mistake. That would be mistake number two. Oh, wow. This is like Christmas it's for me. I don't have to look like I'm right all the time. I just want it, it to be right. I'm really sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to Ranch of Santa Fe. I'm Rebecca Robeson with Robeson Design in San Diego, California. Today, I'm gonna to show you the family room, the kitchen, and the amazing outdoor space of this home we recently completed. That's a good one. Good job. The big frame goes in the back, the small frame goes in the front. I told Faith she didn't listen. D Faith, you did that? No! This is 15 and a something or other? Yeah, that feels good. You came up with another person. Were you like hiding them in there in that truck? Four of them. Four? Did you guys look at this? Do you see how those doors go away? Isn't that cool? I can see you're impressed. <laughs> This fireplace remains the same, but do you see a difference in the built-ins here? This one has the shelves, and actually this time they're lit up individually. Nice touch. And this one, well, it used to house the old-fashioned deep tube television. We mirrored the built-ins on either side, put the LED lights in, and <gasps> it's an amazing place. Well, hello, what do you think? You don't love it? I do. <laughs> so here's your family room. Why should I stay? Your favorite so you bluebird. So decide to do it there. Yes, okay. we tried it different places, but actually it looks really good with the background. <laughs> I think this is your niece and nephew. Next year's. We can't Sweet picture we, white be green. So. We, well, then it'll go with your kitchen. <laughs> Are they cute? So the existing wood flooring is still existing. We didn't change it out, but we did refinish it. And boy, what a difference it made. We actually changed out the crown molding and the base molding. Eight inch baseboards, nice big crown molding. Cleaner, more modern, more transitional. So when it came to picking furniture, Here's what he wanted. He wanted masculine, Ralph Lauren, something cozy, comfortable. No welting on your back cushions. I seem to remember a debate about it. I just don't remember if I won. It's great, way, good way to go. Down filled, great pillows made in uh, complimentary fabrics. But you know what started it? It was this incredible rug. I bought this rug at, uh, Furniture Land South. It is my blue, my gold, my tan, my taupe. This, this is a great coffee table. So this coffee table is made of railroad ties. Isn't this great? Uh, I haven't seen it since the day we were in the I south, know. But get your dirty feet <laughs> That's what you need, Matthew. Another director. This has learned a lot from me over the last nine months. So have you. <laughs> So see, we didn't like make major changes from a construction standpoint in this area, but boy, did we do some facelifts. And if you don't believe that, some of you are already gasping. And I know why you are, and here's the reason. Do you remember when I did the walkthrough before? So many people commented on the fact that the kitchen did not look like it even belonged to this house. I totally agreed, but that was the one room that the client said, no, we are not touching the kitchen. Thank you very much. But you know what happened? I think he read your comments and he started to go, oh, gosh, a lot of people think that kitchen doesn't go. Thank you. He brought me back and he said, let's paint the cabinets. So we didn't get new cabinets. We just painted them all out white. 
So look at this, we got this really rustic, cool, urban looking bar stools and seating in the kitchen. And then all the cabinetry is the same white, which is Simply White by Benjamin Moore. But look how much better this kitchen looks. We also changed out the hardware and look at what a difference from the stainless that it was before and now it's very upscaled, up to date, beautiful oil rub bronze hardware. And you can see how, like there's places I change it up. Look, smaller here, bigger here, bigger here. And look at this. Here is a nightmare. How do you decide how and where and which direction you're gonna put your knobs? This was even challenging for me because look, this pulls out and this pulls out. So most people would put a knob this way, right? And this opens and these pull out and these, well, do you think they pull out? Cause no, they open that way. So I had to decide how am I gonna do my knobs? So I made a decision. Everything is gonna go horizontal here, here. Keep the horizontal and have one vertical. Take a look at what it looked like before. Not quite the same. By the way, I think I should get my client some groceries. We got your fun kitchen table. This takes us down into a much more like, you know, casual, comfortable look. Look at this, isn't this fun? They're like boingy chairs and they're leather. So now, let's talk about the two things in this, these two rooms that made the biggest difference in here. Construction-wise, architecturally, we made a huge change, and that is we took out the existing French doors. Now, it is a fold back, completely back, and indoor-outdoor living, and oh, what a way to live. And in here, originally, I'm not kidding you, this, these windows dropped to here. They were six, eight. So the windows dropped here, you had a ton of drywall above, and these were three separate windows. All these separations in between. Who would want that when that is what you get to look at? So now we have a plate glass window, two crank outs on either side, plenty of ventilation, and honestly, this is the million dollar view. So follow me as I take you out to our now, our new indoor, outdoor living space. Isn't this amazing? Wow. I just, actually, I really want to eat that food. Look at this beautiful table. This is all new, an outdoor rug, uh, teak furniture that our client wants to let it go gray. It's then over here, do you remember? This used to be completely open, completely exposed to the sun. And now, by adding this outdoor pergola, with these brick columns and very detailed wood column uh, tops in between and the slats going this way, an outdoor fan. But I got oh, these. you change the table. We have one coffee table and it was just way too small. But a great big huge coffee table made out of three tables. Sectional sofa, two of them facing each other. How amazing is this? It's totally conversational. It is a destination spot in this house. So is that out there, by the way. Did you sit in this? Very comfortable. In reclining mat? It is stink. Yes, it is so comfortable. Like oh! <laughs> Up lights on these trees, they're so beautiful. Mr. Client, you have a lovely home. We want to thank you, Mr. Client, for allowing us and my viewers to come into your home. Has this been a good experience for you? Yeah, it's been an amazing 12, 13 months. I think you first came into the house yeah. when I hadn't even owned it yet. Right. Right, I was in escrow. Right. And the previous owner let you come in with your draftsman and measure everything while she was still the owner so <laughs> I could get a jump start right. on the 3D model and right. the design. And you have done everything that you said you would do and more mm -hmm. and uh you know i know that you put your heart and soul into every project i do and you know i sense that and you know jason everybody's worked so hard on your staff 
Thanks. And dealt with a lot of my interference. He has issues. <laughs> you better so not be anywhere easy. near this house during this well, install. Well, I have to be checking on the saw oh, no. and the watering no. of it because um, I can't afford to have any spots. You're not allowed to be anywhere near so this I'll ground. Be popping into the back. No, that I would be no. I won't come inside. We're going to put newspaper on the windows. I have an announcement. He does not celebrate Christmas. Or do you? What? I celebrate Christmas. Oh. In fact, this year I'm having the, my entire family over for Christmas. Okay, but guess what? He does not have any Christmas decorations, so I think you should leave oh. Mr. Client a comment and let him know if you think he should hire Ropes and Design oh, to come in and do right. custom Christmas decorating in this home for him. You know. I believe you're already pushing for more Do you business. know? Well, it's relentless business. I'm kind of crazy that way. I can't wait for you to have your family over here. Yeah? They start coming. I know. And they've got lots of guest rooms to stay in. They do. So, Mr. Client's family, come on down to San Diego. He's got a place for you. You could move in and be here for a very long time. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs>